Hello and welcome back to the Pulse Social Sports Podcast, where this week we're speaking to Faz Hosanali, an individual who works with professionals both on and off the field with regards to the NFL and moving to London. She focuses on career paths for players who are looking for an alternate route around their professional sport as well. So yeah, we'll just open out with just um, thanks, thanks for kind of taking your time and for coming to speak to us today. No, thank you for the invitation. Um, so we'll just open out a little bit with uh, who are you, where are you from, and just a little bit about yourself. Great. So my name is Faz Hossin Ali, and I'm originally from North London Highbury. And um, my whole sports career has always been based around um, football, um, America football, basketball, NFL. So I've actually worked for um, Arsenal Football Club, um, NFL um, UK, and NBA UK. So I've always been within the within the sports industry from from many many years ago. So that's just my background. And additionally to that, um, I've actually created my own sports management agency, which is Fruition X. And part of what we do is we help um, athletes become more than an athlete and help them with um, business development, international business partnerships, strategic partnerships, and basically helping them with their brand. Um, if they want to get into entrepreneurship, um, tech startup, um, philanthropy, we support them throughout the journey. Hmm. No, definitely. And then can you tell me a little bit about uh, your work with with professionals um, and your work that you do with the NFL and the NBA? Sorry. Yeah, sure. So with the NFL and NBA players, um, ultimately what we've started to do is um, we've worked with them on their not for profit side of their um, their interests, basically. So um, we help them develop that internationally. We help them to come over to the UK, do brand partnerships um, with local football clubs. So it was West Ham Football Club that we teamed up with. So we created this whole buzz around football meets football. So it's American football with our type of football. And we've got young people from the area of um, Stratford, East London. So deprived areas, basically, of Hackney as well. We've got young people to come enjoy a whole day of football meets football with NFL and NBA players as well come over from from the US and they basically engage with young people here and ultimately what we're trying to push for is showing young people over here or, and across the world around the world and across the world that there is role models out there and athletes are amazing role models they're, they're amazing at drug juggling on and off the field and if you work so hard on both sports and education, you could become one of those um, amazing players. So that's that's our ethos. Mm. No, definitely. That sound, sounds like a really good kind of work environment for the athletes to be kind of brought up into, really. Definitely. Um, and what sort of work do you do with the athletes that don't make it as professional players in terms of, I believe you mentioned qualifications and apprenticeships? Yes, so I mentioned that to you before. So part of the other part of the um, Fruition X is Fruition X Development. It's a not-for-profit organisation. So what we do on, essentially on this side of it, we help. It's a youth development agency, ultimately. So what we do is we focus on the youth, um, young people from 16 and above, neat groups, so it's non-employment education or training, or in terms of the sport inside of things, across the board, it's not only football, it's across all different types of sports. Any young pe um, person or athlete or player who don't make it in a professional um, contract or don't sign up to a professional contract, what we do is we help them off the field. So our focus is ultimately like helping them get in different um, pathways, helping them through employability, um, accreditation, just in case some of them don't have any qualifications, GCSEs, A-levels, BTEC, whatever it may be, we can help them guide them throughout their journey off the field. Hmm. No, definitely. It sounds sounds like a, a really good program, especially being able to help the athletes who may be obviously um, just really put off by not having that professional element. Um, and obviously, it's it's common to see athletes that have sport as their only option for a career path, and not really consider anything else. But what would you say that the effects are if the sport falls through to due to injury reasons or other complications, and they don't have a backup plan? Yeah, we've seen a lot of cases, unfortunately, and, and, and that's the reason why we've created this model, because we want to reduce those cases of like mental health problems. Um, we've had um, the report in, in October that one of the young players from the Manchester City Academy committed suicide, unfortunately. And these are the kind of cases, I, I don't like to use the word cases or case study, but these, these are the kind of examples that 
we don't want to happen and and ultimately we want to try and help those young players and people find their footpath what I know it's, it's it's hard to juggle trying to focus on their professional career on the field but they have to understand that it's not guaranteed there's no guarantee and uh, based on our research through um, football just as an example 90% actually don't make it only 10% that do mm. so we've got a whole 90% here that potentially okay they might find another another team or go through semi-pro or whatever maybe which is fantastic and that's where their agents or whoever made their support circle can definitely support them on that side but off the field we want to be in a position where they can come to us and we help them and guide them hmm. no I completely agree with that and it's just it's very it's very important to be able to show any young players in whatever sport it may be that there are other career routes as opposed to just kind of put all your eggs in one basket and hope it works yeah definitely and 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 just on that I know it's a it's a lot to juggle at the age of 16 17 18 where you want to focus just on on the field on the pitch but as you said it's it's vital to try and get that balance because you just never know fantastic if you do sign a professional contract that is amazing that's what we want you guys to do but just say in a couple of years time, as you mentioned, injuries kick in or anything else un- unexpectedly can happen. You need something to fall back on. And, and that's what we do. And we use um, as well tech as another element. So we help young people get into tech, um, teach them coding and, and stuff like that. So that's another element that we bring into the sports tech um, environment. No, completely. And um, do you find that these athletes that are coming off the pitch after maybe having dealt with a career setback or just having any other issues or complications with the sport, would you find that they would have or, or they would require mental health support as well as kind of being able just in the career sense? And how would you guys support that? Yeah, for sure. Um, it's, it's such a it's such a touchy subject, meaning not everyone talks about mental health and everything else. But and that whole stigma of um, especially boys and men, um, they they have that whole stigma about not talking about their mental health. And unfortunately, a lot of young people suffer with mental health, um, not just athletes. We're talking about across the board, um, neat groups, as I said, non-employment education and training. And it's just really sad that there's not much support for that group of young uh, young people. And especially for that generation, I feel like we need to support them throughout their journey. And um, we've actually partnered up um, with a, a ex-player from West Ham and um, his name is Christian Montano. And he has created his own um, he- um, mental health charity. As a footballer, he went through his own um, struggles and mental health and he's identified the struggles that each individual goes through during their journey successfully or unsuccessfully you still need to have some sort of mental health support so what we've done is we've actually partnered up with him and his charity and helped um, to push that whole mental health um, stigma out of the game. Mm. No completely and um, just kind of following on from that would you say that a lot of athletes who or a lot of young people who are kind of thinking of pursuing this career path would you say that it's almost widely advertised that it might not work because because you see a lot of these kind of success stories i went from nothing and now i have everything but do you think it's kind of very publicized that actually it might not be this fairy tale for you at all yeah oh great question and and you know what it's it's so important to um make to build that awareness and i think now the funny thing is i feel like the past couple years only now everyone's talking about the the setbacks, the challenges, the ones who don't make it, um, and they're basically a reality check, um, unfortunately, because as much as it's, it's a dream and some some plays, again, hats off to them, they've, they've made it from nothing to, to, to something and um, their journey is different, but everybody's different, like every individual is different. And we need to remember that. And that's the reason why we need to push it, not just as an organization, we need to push it as an agenda that we need to, we all need to come together as different organizations, um, different associations and everything else come together and actually come to the table and say, look, we need to help our young um, athletes and young people. So I feel like, yeah, great question. We need to push that agenda and, and build that awareness um, to, to, to the public eye, basically. No, ab- absolutely. Um, and then one one final question, if you don't mind, um, do you think it's important for academy players to have other skills? Obviously, we've we've been through kind of 
um, in, in terms of employability, but other skills just in terms of interests not related to their sport that can maybe lead to a different career path? Yeah, um, I, we've we've seen so many examples um, abroad with the NFL and NBA players. They're fantastic when it comes to finding alternative routes and and outside the game of like outside sports in general. Some of the NFL players and NBA players are literally investing into tech, as I mentioned. Tech is a big thing, obviously now, and we we obviously as an organisation try and push. Um, young people and athletes to, to get into tech because that's that's where the future is going so yeah we've seen so many examples of that um in the us with with that culture with that um um players with nfl and nba however when it comes to our side of the pond like um uk and europe with our footballers there are some of them creeping to, to that direction. So you have Matthew Flemini, who's got his own um, organization, Mr. Ozil as well. So a, a few of them are amazing role models of what they're trying to push for. And it's not only just about sports, it's about whatever interest they want to get into. So that's what we do as an organization as well. Hmm. No, that's absolutely some really good points raised. And I think I completely agree with you with a lot with a lot of what you said it's just very important to get people engaged in other things as a as a backup plan really definitely definitely and the thing is it is daunting especially if you have no idea about tech or um anything else like it's it's outside your comfort zone but that's the whole point we we're here to support and if you've got the right support system, like if you've got a great agent to support you on and off the field, you've got good family, uh, family and friends circle around you. We're just like an additional support part of that whole sports ecosystem. Mm -hmm. But the, the whole point is like we, we try and guide and support young people and athletes throughout their journey. We're not just going to leave them halfway. It's like, oh, um, we've done our job and that's it. We, we support them, we guide them all the way until they're, they're successful, both on and off the field. Hmm. No, that's it's just some really strong points made. And I couldn't agree more with just about anything you've said. Wanted to say thanks again for taking your time. Thank you so much, Patrick. I really appreciate it. And um, I hope you guys continue doing the amazing work that you are doing. So good luck with everything. Thank you. Thank you, Faz, for coming on the show with us. And thank you to everyone at home listening as well. If you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe to our Facebook, our Twitter, our LinkedIn or our YouTube at Pulse Social CIC. That's all we've got time for this week. See you next episode.